So my dad was born in Carretero, Mexico, which is about maybe an hour, two hours away from Mexico City. And then you look at my mom, she's, she's American. She's like the opposite color of me. So they're always like, like who is this? Like, that's, that's, there's no way that's your mom. So my dad, he loves eggs and um, hot dogs. Like, I think growing up, you're like, this is disgusting, dad. Like, this is not good. But then, like, I guess he tells me, like, at home, like, you'd be lucky to get this, you know? Like, every day it's rice and beans, the same thing. He didn't really go to school. They don't go to school there that much. So he only went to sixth, seventh grade. And then by that time, he was already helping his parents. Like, you hear the stories that he tells from when he was a kid. You're like, wow. I mean, I've been grateful for the fact that, like, I can go to school and, like, I can graduate high school, whereas he didn't have the chance. You know, he was working on the farm at, like, 12, 13. So I have all the opportunities that, like, he's given me through his hard work. Like, he does construction, so when you see him working like that, you're like, like, I should be doing that, but to soccer. So, like, what he works for, like, he worked to get here, so I feel like I should put more work to make the family better. I know the things I struggle with, there's a bunch of other people, probably younger than me, that struggle with it too. Like, being half American, half Hispanic, you know, I think it's growing in this community, and I think the fact that I have a platform to share that, like, kids are gonna see it and be like, hey, like, Mom, this guy's doing it, he's just like me, like that gives me reason I can do the same thing, or even better hopefully.